Hey everybody, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. So, not much is happening. We got three updates. Um, each one has its own unique thing that I want to talk about. First off is Story Quest Campaign. So, it looks like if you complete Story Quest 50 and 600, we get two rewards. Reward number one is kind of odd because anyone who's new to the game doesn't have this medal, but doesn't get to guilt this medal. So, if you complete Story Quest number 50, which is not hard to do, you get three copies of Sora and Roxas. So that's just three copies. Um, the medal itself, it's just a healer medal, I believe. Last time I checked, I should have looked at it before I did this video, but you know, things happen. Life's a little busy, but I try my best. Uh, let's go look for it real quick. Hopefully I can, I can spot it out. The bigger screen does help, but not enough for me to actually find it. How bad is this right now? This is pretty bad. You can leave this part in the comment section. Um, here you go. So, deals 13 slightly powerful hits and then moderately, moderately, uh, I think, anyway, recovers HP. So, it does hit and it recovers HP. It's 100% guild, so it's around close to a 4 multiplier. If you guys get one of these traits, this guy doesn't do that bad damage because it's 7,241 and he or them or, you know, Roxas and Sora will help you complete story mode for sure because even though it's a low multiplier It's still pretty good. It's your healer if you guys don't have a healer yet because if you are new You probably don't have illustrated Kairi. You probably didn't pull a mini yet uh, There's other healers, but a healer and attacker is pretty good But again, it's kind of weird because anybody who didn't start when they came out And I believe that was during New Year's or something like that or it was like a campaign for hitting a certain amount of tweets on Twitter something like that or pre-registered emails anyways so everybody else has a guilted version so anyone new is getting three copies uh three copies put them together i don't see a reason why you would keep them separate again you could get double cast on it there's no reason so definitely go for a negative 60 ground or negative 60 error plus 1000 well it's not like you guys have a choice but if you can and you roll it keep one of those definitely because especially they're going to do some good damage uh, with a negative 60 on them not so much for early quest early quest is probably better with a thousand strength but as you go along through the quest you know the negative 60 traits really do kick in if you guys don't have any general defense down medals on your keyblade already so that part i didn't need to touch up on that much but you know i, I just felt it was kind of weird instead of just introducing a new medal or giving us like a medal that's really good not really good but you know like hey here you go guys here's some meow just these even that would have been better in my opinion but let's just go to the part that got me intrigued here. Um, so if you complete up to quest level or level 600, story quest level 600, you get yourself a magic broom. And I, I think this is kind of good because some of us bought two gem boards instead of three gem boards. And like my free to play account, I only bought the blue and the green gem boards that were the avatar boards that we just had. And I'm missing one more magic broom to actually get a Fantasia Mickey B. So this works out nicely to net me another Fantasia Mickey B and also it's a free little bonus. This might be a little, you know, hey guys, we're gonna start putting more Magic Brooms and Fantasia Mickey B in the game. It should have been Coliseum this month in my, like it should have been here for a while already guys, but now that it is here and it's been in the game, I really thought it was gonna be in this month's Coliseum, but it didn't happen. As you guys can see though, it's slowly creeping in there, slowly. And when I say slowly, it's going slow. Like I really want to see more Fantasia Mickey B since it's in the game. Uh, but again, I did talk about Fantasia Mickey B's and how it can upset the balance and also make the balance good. But just remember, anything you get really easy, so does the people who pay a lot of money in the game. So it's not really gonna help you guys balance out to face people who are pay to win. But at the same time, it's good because it helps you on your game to complete your events, complete your story mode, complete your proud mode, and just to help you progress through the game. So never look at Mickey and Brooms or Fantasia Mickey B or Magic Brooms as a way to compete against people who pay. Just look at it as, hey, this is going to help you progress through your game. So I'm kind of happy they did that. They could have done nothing. Uh, what, what is it? It's just a story quest campaign. They don't say why or anything. So it's just a bonus, guys. There's You can't complain about something they just give to us. Um, well, you got to work for it. You got to go to quest 600 to get that magic broom. But if you guys don't already, just kind of skip through all of them. Go into the level. Go straight to the enemy. Kill the enemy. And then go to the next one. You don't have to three Mickey hit everything. You guys can do that later on if you want. For now, if you guys are trying to try to rush to 600, just rush straight to the each, 
target enemy and then continue to the next quest, target enemy, continue next quest, and skip all the enemies along the way. Obviously, you're going to have to replay the, the levels later on for all the Mickey heads, but this guarantees you that you'll get to quest 600 if you're strong enough to get there. Alright, so enough of the story quest upgrade, uh, updates. We have this daily raid event, and actually I want to leave this for last because I'm a little... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. So we'll get that to the last part. Let's talk about the VIP uh, VIP quest. So VIP quest, you get two power gems, two speed gems, and two magic gems. Now, what I've been seeing on Twitter and my Discord and other places, people are like, "Oh my God, why would you pay for speed gems and power gems and all that?" Um, it's not that they're trying to like pull you guys in, like, "Hey, buy our VIP, you're gonna get this. It's so amazing." It's not that amazing, guys. It's it's just gems. You guys get gems and gem boards. You get them in events. You get them in Lux ranking. You get them for high score challenges, top 5,000. You get them everywhere. So this is more, you guys have to look at it this way. It's a bonus to people who pay for the game. Now, I've said this before. Don't look at VIP as in like, oh, this is totally not worth it. I'm not going to buy it. There's people out there who buy VIP just for the cheap jewels like they don't care that there's anything attached to it They just want that discounted price for VIP They want to get those 3,000 jewels for a cheap price and anything that comes with it is a bonus to them Now they could have done a little better in my opinion though because if you go to quest and you actually look at the specials tab So on the special tabs gonna show you everything that VIP has available for you and I was like, okay That's pretty cool speed gems magic and power gems for anyone that actually supporting the game But they literally didn't add Chippendales, they didn't add that uh, VIP quest that lets you farm a bunch of metals and upgrade your your metal skills. It's just that VIP quest. There is nothing else. There is nothing else special to this week. So I thought that was kind of odd. But at the same time, like I said, there's people who buy the VIP just to get that discounted jewels. 3,000 jewels for one nice little price. Or, you know, a better price than what they have in their store. So... Definitely don't look at it as like, um, I, don't, I don't know, a negative thing. It's not a negative thing. It's a really good thing for people who already pay for it. It's not something to pull you in. If, if you guys are just trying to decide, like, should I buy this to upgrade a certain keyblade? I would say just hold off. Both my accounts, lots of people, basically everybody, your keyblades will level up eventually. Just kind of stock your keyblade gems, the, the power gems, magic gems, speed gems. Just stockpile them until you really, really know what you want. Or if you pull something really amazing and you need to make a keyblade for that. So if you get like a power setup that's really good, then go level up the Fenrir or go level Olympia if your speed medals are also good as well. Stuff like that. So gems will come eventually. It's nothing to throw $20 at or whatever the price is for you guys. Just, this is a bonus, once again, for people who do buy, buy VIP. So it's not a bad thing at all. Um, I, did w I do wish they did more, because it's kind of like, uh, you know. But that's just that case. The only time I'll buy VIP, guys, is when there's a VIP medal, like Illustrated Bell and Beast. Um, <laughs> every time I think about it, I get lost. Uh, Illustrated Bell and Beast, Halloween Sora, uh, KDG, the King Donald, and Goofy medal. There's a lot of other ones, but that's the three that top pop popped in the top of my head so anyways vip it's just vip guys whatever comes with vip is a bonus because in the beginning of the game it was literally just buy vip get discounted jewels now they've added a lot more and it's nice to see so daily raid event um <laughs> so they replaced daily jewels with daily okay daily quest for jewels so you complete a quest to get jewels, 200 jewels per day. They replaced that with a raiding quest. So you got a raid event instead of a daily quest. Now, this is what gets me a little bit is that it's at certain times. And it's not too clear here in this whole description, but from what I take, it says each day at the following times, there's two times. Uh, my time is gonna be 3 p.m. and 10 p.m. So at 3 p.m. and 10 p.m. or for you guys, 12 and seven, each day, a uh, submarine carp raid boss will appear for only one hour. So you have one hour to tackle this boss and take him down and try to kill him. Because every five levels will net you event coins. So right there it says get event coins every five levels. You can only get that uh, event coins every level until level 55. Right over here it says note number two, raid boss will not yield any event coins after level 55. So once you... A kill it up to level 55 you pretty much stop so you really have to be coordinated with your party everybody has to summon a raid boss once you hit level 5 tell everybody in chat or discord whatever you use and then everyone hits that enemy at least once and then we all finish it off and then we carry on to the next one at least that's how i think it's gonna be organized 
Um, the raid boss level will reset every day, and it says event boards will remain open until 30 minutes after the one hour window. So after that hour of raiding, you have half an hour to buy the boards. Now, does your event coins reset, or does the board, is it like a daily board? That's what I don't get. So, <clears throat> I don't see it anywhere, but I might be misreading this. It just says earn jewels and more from daily raid events, right? And it says you get these coins every five levels, but the boss is only there for an hour, two times a day. In those two times, you get raid coins if you defeat the level five, the level 10, the level 15, so on and so on. So, do those coins add up? And on the, like the last day, let's say, what is it here? It's here till the 10th. So let's say on day nine, so July 9th, is the raid board that opens up on July 9th the same one that opens up today? And you can just use all your event coins on that day? I'm not sure yet. Uh, they might have said somewhere or I might be re misreading this. But work together with your party and defeat the raid boss within the time limit to earn event coins, which you can use to earn up to 1400 jewels, magic mirrors, sige, and chips, and dale medals. It doesn't say that the board is the same board every day. Which I it should be. That part should be fine. The whole part of it spawning one hour twice a day is is kind of hard because a lot of people work, a lot of people have jobs. Well, that's the same thing. A lot of people go to school. That's what I meant to say. And just life in general, guys. A lot of people are just busy. And to tell someone, hey, you can only get these free jewels during these hours, it, it it's kind of it's kind of harsh to the player base, in my opinion. Because let's say you're somebody who you literally cannot play during those hours because that's when you're dead working or you're taking care of your kid or you're out with the family or something whatever the situation is if you can't do that you're gonna feel really really bad because you missed out on magic mirrors 1400 jewels and the rest who cares you know what i mean it, it's it's kind of hard to tell someone you can only play my game at this time just just my opinion so let me know what you guys think about that actually let me know how you feel that they're making us play these two hours every day in order to get these event coins. Now, I could be rambling about nothing because it could be something as simple as um, do this six times and you're totally fine. So you have 14 chances to actually kill the level fives. Also, your party can help you out if you're one of those people who don't have the time. They can summon the boss, tell you, you tap on it and that's good enough. You get the event coins. It only takes you a minute. You don't have to sit there and farm. But again, that causes issues and you got to stop someone from leveling up their boss. If they want to level up really, really fast, they're probably just going to summon it, kill it, and then carry on to level 10, so on and so on. So it's very, very iffy. I don't think this was a good idea, but we'll see how it turns out. So there will be an update video about this later once I actually physically see the board and know that that board is every day and your coins don't reset either. If they really do, like the coins you earn this day is only good for this board on this day. Ugh. <laughs> bad idea but i think it's going to be a weekly raid board and then the vent coins you can collect over time so anyways we'll see again too much talking about something that's not here yet um the bonus hour is not until uh, what another what time is it now yeah another 10 hours i think another 10 hours uh my math can be totally wrong it's probably totally wrong no i think it's 10 hours <clears throat> so anyways yeah, 10 hours from now, the boss will come up a little bit more because the video is going to be put out an hour after, after all the rendering and all that crap, you know, all the YouTube magic. So, that's it guys, three three updates, and to finish this video off, I just want to say to you guys, like, I after my making my thank you video, I went through the entire comment section. I'm actually, I keep updating my uh, thank you video over and over to see if anyone put anything new because I don't want to miss anything. I just want to tell you guys, wow, holy shit, you guys... Are extremely supportive and I can't thank you guys enough like you put a smile on my face every day the comment section the community you guys are just absolutely amazing and I can't thank you enough and I did see a couple people say hey I want to make fan art for you um, again join my discord channel there's a fan art not fan art there's an art page where you can just post your art to share with everybody or talk about your favorite pictures but also you can DM me any fan art you want and I'll post it up in a new video as I go so again guys super supportive like you guys are amazing and I just want to say again thank you for just making every day that just a little bit better just not even a little bit better like a lot better like I just cannot believe how nice everyone is so Besides all that guys, um, nothing I can really talk about besides this high score challenge. Um, a lot of people are asking, can I do it with 35%? Can I do it with just a friend middle? 
Most of the questions, I mean most of those questions, the answer is no until I figure out something. As for now, I have not touched a game since the last video I showed you. I haven't played my free-to-play account or this account besides doing my daily jewels. So no, I haven't really come up with anything new to help you guys out. I haven't even tried to get top 1000 yet. I know what the strategy is to get top 1000. It's very easy like any other strategy. Put the percentage medals on there, throw defense boosts on there, make sure you have second chance, and then some sort of sleep or paralysis with a friend medal or your own paralysis. That's how easy it is. Just have a lot of boost and go at it. The real goal I want to go for now in my high score challenge videos, guys, is just get you that reward. Grab that reward for you guys so you have your chance at the medal and you can use Mickey Brooms on it later if you choose. It's all your choice. Remember, have fun with your game. But that's what I'm going for. That's my goal every time a high score challenge comes out is help you guys try to help you guys get that reward this time it was really really easy because the banner was just perfect it guarantees you a percentage medal every time you pull so all you have to do is pull twice and you're good if you have a really good single hit medal if you don't then you got to guilt one of these guys either by pulling more or making brooms but in the end remember there's a 0.2 Kyrie coming out and also you don't know what's around the corner but you only have four days to decide is this key art really important to you or is 0.2 Kyrie really important to you? If you can get both, guilt one of these and have enough jewels for 0.2 Kyrie, there's no question. I really believe that having a guilted key art is a game changing medal for anybody. Just anybody. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice every time I make a video, it's killing me. So that's it guys. Um, I can ramble all day, but I don't want to make the video super long. So I'll end it here. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.